everyone, Kelsey and Alex here. Welcome back to another CDHF Talks, with today's topic being pancreatic health and the gut microbiome. The pancreas is one of the body's most underappreciated organs. It lives in the top of our abdomens and is tucked right behind our stomachs. It's responsible for two functions, endocrine and exocrine. We'll talk a little bit more about those later. Now when the pancreas doesn't work properly, you could develop conditions such as pancreatitis or pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, or PEI for short. When you have PEI, your body doesn't get the nutrients it needs because it can no longer absorb fats and some vitamins and minerals from foods. As a result, you may lose weight or have pain in your gut. There are prescription medications that are available that work for most people. These medications help us to redevelop a new supply of enzymes that help us to digest our food in the right way. Besides medication, another way to manage symptoms is to eat the correct diet, which you can have recommended to you by a dietitian or your doctor. Further to that, research into the area of the gut microbiome is continuing to evolve in the area of PEI and the pancreas. And they're currently looking at how altering the gut microbiome could have therapeutic value. We're lucky enough today to be sitting with gastroenterologist Dr. David Armstrong, who'll be talking to us about pancreatic health, treatment options that are currently available, as well as current research that's being done into the role of the microbiome and how it affects symptoms. So let's get to it. The pancreas is a fascinating organ. It's probably one of the, the body's less appreciated organs. Um, it's a piece of sort of soft tissue at the upper part of the abdomen at the back. And it's really only, it's about six inches long and it weighs about two to three and a half ounces. And its job really is to help with digestion and to control the events that happen after digestion with the absorption of food. It actually encompasses a number of different functions. Part of it is what's called the endocrine pancreas. That is, it's an endocrine gland that produces insulin and glucagon. These are hormones that control blood sugar levels. What we're going to be talking about today is more about the exocrine pancreas, which is uh, the part of the gland that secretes fluid and other proteins and other things into the gut to help the uh, small intestine digest food after we've eaten it. So the exocrine part of the pancreas, its exocrine function is based on secreting fluid and bicarbonate to neutralize acid produced by the stomach and enzymes to help digest food. So once food has left the stomach and gone into the small bowel, it gets mixed with pancreatic secretions and bile and they work together to break the food down into its components. And to do that, they mix it up with fluid, they neutralize the acid with bicarbonate, and then these pancreatic enzymes mix with the food and break the big chunks of carbohydrate and fat and protein down into their components, things like sugars, um, fatty acids, and amino acids. 